Kamal Bakari is a candidate running for Congress in Nevada's 1st District, and he released a hilariously bizarre campaign ad featuring Cliven Bundy. In things racial, we have always been, and we, I believe, continue to be, in too many ways, essentially a nation of cowards. Did he just call me a coward? No, he just called all white folks cowards. He must not know me. You mean if somebody called you a racist, you wouldn't drop your head and be all scared and sad and run around here apologizing like them billionaire ball team owners did a little while ago? No, I wouldn't. And I'm sick and tired of people that act like that. Clavin, you know that political correctness, that's bad for America. A man ought to be able to say whatever he want to say. That's exactly right. I know black folks have had a hard time with uh, slavery and, uh, you know, the government was in on it. And the government's in on it again. I worked my whole life without mistreating anybody. A man ought to be able to express himself without being called names. I hear you, Clive, and I believe you. A brave white man like you might be just what we need to put an end to this political correctness stuff in America today. Don't sell yourself short. You're taking a chance just being in my company. I know. I'm as sick as you are. I feel shame when I hear black folks whining about white folks this, white folks that, always begging. It's almost like black folks think white folks owe them something. I know, I got an idea. Let's call Eric Holder out. What do you mean? Tell him you're a white man that's not scared to talk to him about race. And you know a black man that'll stand with you. I like that idea. Mr. Eric Holder, uh, this is one white man that's not scared to talk about race. I dare you to come to Las Vegas and talk to us. And don't give us that you're too busy stuff. You weren't too busy to go to Ferguson, Missouri. My name's Kamal Bakari, and I'm running for Congress District 1, and I want your vote. I'm not on the blue team, and I'm not on the red team. I'm on the independent American team. I want to talk about race and freedom. So Eric Holder, when you come to town, let me know, and bring Dina Titus with you. She's got a lot to answer for. I'm Kamal Bakari, and I approve this message. Do you understand that the district he's running in is a left-leaning district? And he ran an ad with Clive and Bundy as if it's casual, everyday knowledge that everybody's on the side of Clive and Bundy. Like he's some sort of victim. Is there an award for the biggest sellout in the black community? Because that guy's it right here. You are holding up this guy as a brave white man when he said that the Negro, the Negro, they're moochers and parasites, and they're probably better off as slaves. And you like that guy. You think that guy nailed it. And then I love how he's arguing. <laughs> Obviously, Cliven's not racist. He just tells it like it is. And then Cliven immediately says, well, uh, it's almost like black folks think white folks owe them something. But no, he didn't just say three seconds ago he's not racist and then say something racist. This may be the most unsavvy political ad in human history. I think even conservative Republicans were face palming like, why would you do this? Why would you do this? Clive and Bundy is only known for being a criminal. Admittedly, too. Admittedly. He admits, he's like, yeah, I didn't pay, you know, over a million dollars in backed fees that I owe the government for letting my cows wander on uh, federal land. Everybody else pays it, but I didn't pay it. Because I'm a parasite, I'm a moocher, I'm a leech, I'm a welfare queen, even though I slammed all black people as being uh, welfare queens. <sighs> it's... I don't even know what to say about this because you know what it is? I, I don't need to say anything about it because it, this is more of a comedy. It's more of a self-parody and caricature than anything serious. It's almost like they made this ad for the sole purpose of having liberals laugh at them.